Haiti, Heidi Ho. I'm Douglas Taylor, and uh, I trust that everyone had some bright moments over the holidays, and hope that we all have a much uh, better new year than the past few years. I also want to mention that it never really was about just one person. Therefore, the absence of that person will not cha automatically change everything, nor be all healing. In the words of that popular old song, we've only just begun. So now, that, that being said, uh, something a little more festive. Um, it's, it may be uh, nostalgic for some, and informative for others. As the uh, um, renowned German uh, playwright once said, Alberto Brecht, who gave us um, um, Three Penny Opera, the function of, the th well, he said theater. I'm gonna expand it to, be, to include all literature. The function of literature is to both entertain and edify. So in that spirit, I give to all of you cool cats and kittens out there that 5 a.m. jazz. Round about midnight, the jazz scene sizzles, steaming up sultry urban nights. In New York, from Blue Note to Village Gate, they are the vanguard and the bottom line, down to the bitter end and the joint is jumping. Uptown on 52nd Street, music is piped outdoors for pedestrians, while further uptown, West 86th Street, strikers, brownstones, bottom floor swings. Chet Baker, Joe Puma, Chuck Wayne are all in the mix. East side, west side, all around the town, heavy cats are riding riffs, blues-based phrases, ending at bars five and six, augmented and diminished uh, chords. Notes exhaled out of saxophones burst past velvet padded keys in alto and in tenor, while spewed out of trumpets big brass bell, blasting up towards the full moon like howling Irish wolfhounds, and sometimes making muted, mournful, moans of lovers posting with such dexterity to the rhythmic gait of cymbals, drums, and stand-up bass, all conversing with piano, float above the traffic din. They escape out of the baby grand along 7th Avenue into Small's Paradise to come to rest in the nest before rebounding up to the Savoy where they can languish in lush life with some satin doll, and you can take the A train there. Long after dark, still before dawn, the squares are going back to old Squaresville, while hip cats and hip kittens slide down to the Lower East Side. They don't need no guide. It's New York's alphabet city, where the scenery's always pretty, in an existential way. Avenues from A to D, where in syncopated harmony, after hour, at after hour joints like Old Reliable, Slugs, Five Spot, The Tin Palace, they revel in jazz morphology, raving in its splendor. Horns lay down hot licks, and it's laid down solid, man, in harmonic riffs of fourths and fifths. Renewed resonance of squeaks and squeals found between the notes or on sitar with slow, low, lamenting moans of mellifluous, soul-soothing sounds structured into patterns of complicated phrases pass in and out of the music without losing contact with it. Piano, produces melodious, mellow visions woven into a myriad of shapes and colors, accompanied by 
pulsating heartbeat of snare and tom-tom, riding the waves to shore on hi-hatch paradiddles. Drop me off in Harlem Nocturne, where sparkling summer-scented rain baptizes asphalt streets, reflecting neon lights, red, yellow, blue and green, blinking to the rhythms of the night. That is where it is laid down, brother, laid down with a vengeance, eloquently sung by some really heavy cats, poets of jazz. Can you dig it, man, like rapping in some strange foreign tongue, unknown, not prominent in the land, cut out of the soul of America's African, immorally misplaced, misplaced in a white nation, not known for who he is, but how he can be used. This new old sound, known as bebop, some say began as a mistake in jazz, picked up on as a new direction. But the drums tell me, through the grapevine, that bebop was born of broken promises, dashed upon the rocks of disappointment. When Leroy came marching home, he found nothing had been changed. The same old jive was still alive and kicking. The same could be said of the 100th Battalion, 444th Regiment, Japanese Nisei Division, or Navajo Code Talkers, and Rosie the Riveter. Thank you, thank you for your service. Now get back where you belong. But Leroy had seen a different world overseas, where Jim Crow didn't rule giving him a new sense of reality and self. How are you going to keep them down on the farm after they've seen Paris? The so-called Negro status hadn't changed, but he had the music scene that greeted him, and it was slamming and jamming, played by some way out cats like Charlie Parker and Miles Davis, Dizzy Gillespie and John Coltrane, Curly Russell and Max Roach, Jerry Mulligan and Thelonious Monk, at jazz joints in cities like the Red Drum in Chicago, the Hague in Los Angeles, and in New York, the Baby Grand, Smalls Paradise, the Apollo, Minton's Playhouse, Sugar Ray's, and on and on and on. All black music resonates deep down throughout my soul's genetic memory, for it journals the journey of my people in this country from the first slave ship in the 1600s to this day, from slave work songs and spirituals to rap and hip hop, and all between and beyond. A history of America as told through our American experience. Epilogue. Darkness ebbs as night wanes. A drowsy sun wipes sleep from its eyes and peeps over the horizon, awakened by the banging and clanging of noisy garbage trucks as they ravenously devour yesterday's rubbish with their huge iron mandibles. Bakeries radiate the scent of fresh baked bread cinnamon rolls and coffee cakes, while shopkeepers roll up steel shutters and coffee shops and diners prepare for the morning breakfast special rush. Two eggs, home fries, sausage, bacon, and, or ham, juice, toast, coffee, cocoa, or tea, $2.30. In homes, lights switch on against the dark, People wash away leftover sleep, freshening up for the new day. In kitchens, coffee perks, eggs and bacon fry. Cereal frolics in bowls of milk, snap, crackle, pop. Wafting enticing fragrances throughout. Hep cats and hip kittens leisurely spill out from after-hour spots as fast 
as coal molasses, releasing ghostly remnants of the night's symphonic gala into the morning air, like a haunting melody lingers in one's head for hours. Some to better pie crust for treats to take home, others to wells for waffles and fried chicken. Soon, hordes of humanity emerge onto the streets, children laughing, screaming playfully on way to be collected by buses and carried off to school. Adults, not often being ready, could have used more sleep. Monday always comes too soon. Tuesday's not much better, with sullen faces, sometimes cursing, swarm into holes under the sidewalk like bees into the hive, only to be pushed and squeezed onto monstrous, moaning metal centipedes of electric trains that squeak and squeal and screech their way through dark tunnels to their dreaded destinations. All of this melodious cacophony of sounds and aromatic smells, scents shoot up like a rocket past clouds into the stratosphere, converging with the universe as a single symphony of humanity, which I like to call that 5 a.m. jazz. Well, that's it for today. So until next time, all you cool cats and kittens, remember to take it easy, Greasy. We've still got a long way to slide.